have to know about yourself before jumping into a relationship. Mm -mm. What do you have to know about yourself before jumping into a relationship? I think a lot of development happens in a relationship. It's not what you have to know about yourself, it's just who you should be before you jump into a relationship. Like you should be hardworking, you should have a work ethic, you should be willing to be of service to somebody because this is where it starts. This is the foundation is how are we going to be towards each other? And, and what are we going to bring to the relationship? Like if you don't have a work ethic, if you're not hardworking, then what are you bringing except for weight for somebody that's gonna need to lift up? And the thing is, I teach women all the time how to lift themselves up in a relationship. And I say, you need to be able to love yourself. You need to be able to detach your emotional roller coaster from someone else's ride so that you're not riding their ups and downs and you're being a stabilizing force. So maybe that's the answer is, is what should you be in a relationship? You should be a stabilizing force. And as women, that stabilizing force is being the emotional leader. As men being that stabilizing force is practicing the three Ps, which is protect, profess, and provide. And if you don't feel like you're ready to bring that to the relationship, the ability to say to everyone who's around you, this is my woman, I'm professing my love for her, I'm professing my dedication and my devotion, I'm willing to provide for her to go out and work hard and be a financial stabilizing force so that she is not afraid and to protect her. If other people want to tear her down, you need to be the one who's always saying, I'm going to keep lifting you up.